Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Automation. Today's episode could be the best episode that we've ever done on here. Depending on how well it goes, it could be your favorite one of the series so far. At least it could be mine too. We're going to be building a replica vehicle. Now, watch this. If we go back to, oops, 2005, and we go to this button, and I find the vehicle that we want. Which one is it? Whereabouts is it? It's down, 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 down. This one right here. Now, what's the difference between those two? Can you see any difference at all? Oh, it's got, one's got more lift than the other. And, well, we'll just go with this one. Now, you're not going to be able to see it until we get to towards the end. We're going to go with aluminium. We're going to go with monocot. We're going to go with something lightweight-ish. Glued aluminium. You see, we're going pretty premium. We're going pretty high end of a vehicle here. Uh, you know, I think it's longitudinal. I'm not 100% sure. Double wishbone. And we want something like a multi-link or even a push link. We'll go with multi-link because it's more comfier. And you know what? I'll also bump up the quality. Now, check this out. What does that look like to you? What's the difference between these two? I'm just going to click between them. What is with that? That's not meant to be like that, surely. Oh, it is. Oh, I see. That's like a um, hard top convertible. That's This is like the, the hard top, like non-convertible. What does it look like? It's an Aston Martin, isn't it? It's like a, a DB9 is what I sort of see in it. I know a lot of Aston Martins all look the same. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be making a replica DB9. Or oh, as close to. So we're going to go YouTube Aston Martin DB9. We're going to go replica. Hopefully we can make... Hopefully this is going to be pretty close to what we want. Now, uh, for the colour. Now, they're usually like... We could go with like a, a British racing green. Sort of works. It's a little bit old school of a colour. Or we can go with like a, uh, a really nice light silver. Or a, a dark red. Like, like that red, but a little bit darker. Can we modify? I can't modify that. Let's modify this one then. We'll put the flake up on it so it looks really premium. We'll make it darker. Not that dark. Maybe a little bit lighter. That looks cool as. That's the color. Save. Save. Yes. That's, that's brilliant. Now, the headlights. The bane of our existence, I think you can gather by now. Um, we need like DB9 headlights and there is no such like style in the game. It's got a body that sort of fits, but that's it. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to like make a round light. And then make, make it sort of fit. How am I going to do this? I need to rotate. there. It's close. Smaller. Get the rotation right first. I need to rotate more. It's not letting me rotate more. I can't rotate enough. Like that's like it's it's close. But it needs to be way over like that. And I don't think no matter how we're gonna how however we do this, the game isn't gonna want us doing that. Like, it's not bad. Like, uh, it's going to be difficult unless you guys, like, know what these cars look like to see if I'm, I'm close or not. I've got an image up in front of me uh, to try and help out a little bit. Um, but I think that is, like, the only sort of one that we can go with unless we went with something like this. And we sort of don't go quite as round. Hey, that's, that's working. Uh, scroll, scale it down, makes it easier to modify and pull about. You know, that's probably as close as we're going to get. And you know what? That doesn't look bad. If we make it clear, I think it 
that suddenly makes it look a lot more modern. Yeah, no, we're going to go with that. Right. Now, the grill is the next part. Now, this is one that we really do need to... Wait, wait, let's get a better picture of the front here. Oh, we could do a badge. I'm sure there's a badge that sort of looks about right. right the badge is like, like this wide-winged, sort of eagle style thing. Surely there must be something that works that we don't have to make. I mean, probably that first one. And then we'll just make it fat. That's about right. That's about right. It's a shortcut, but it's, it's about what we want. A bit smaller. Okay, grill. This is, this is going to be good. We want... What's one closest to... It's like a it's like a grill that goes around here and then comes out wider. So we might have to put two together to get what we want. Like we might have to do something like that and then get another one that has more of a mat shape. So close. If there wasn't that bust part in the middle, maybe this one's too thick and too high. I need it to be rounder. Well, how, how are we going to do this? We're going to grab that one. I'm going to have to put, make it out of three separate grills. Flip that upside down so then we get this curve. And then fit it just in there. That's about right. That's about right. Maybe it should go a little bit wider still. That's now an easy fix for us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's definitely definitely about right. Uh, we're going to get another one to go down there. That's about right as well for the size and everything. Okay. A little bit thinner. And then two vents on the side here. We're going to go with... They sort of go a little bit round, those ones. This goes out wider. Oh, we're starting to break the... See how see it's, what it's doing there? It's really quite annoying how the model sort of breaks up a little bit. I can probably hide that, though, with a um, number plate. Okay, I'm happy. Let's stick another plate over that so I can't see that because it's annoying me already. Something like that, just so you can't see that lip. Okay. That's pretty, pretty good. Now on the front there, there's no more, there's no indicators or anything. All the indicators are sort of in there, this section. Uh, but we do want a nice big bonnet scoop bonnet. Now, I might... No, have we got the square one on here? We do. Okay. No, I don't want one there. <laughs> oh, it's, it is how it should be, but it's too thick. It it's like, needs to be a lot lower than that. What if I shrunk it down and then, like... Why can't I make it bigger? Why would it not let me... There we go. So I'm trying to shrink it down. And then and then make it wider to try and get it to be lower. But I don't think it's really working all that well. It's worked a little bit. Okay. That'll do. That's about right. And then we have some little grills on the top here. Okay, and put them in there, make them longer, make them thinner, make them shorter. Okay, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, on the side here, uh, we've got an indicator, it's a little round one, and it looks like it's like white. Um, but I'm going to keep mine orange so I know it's an indicator. It might not be an indicator, it might be like a little Aston Martin badge. I've never owned one, can you believe it? So... <laughs> So I'm not really 100% sure. 
Uh, okay, and then what they do is they have a grill here, but it's like covered in chrome. Uh, we can't do a grill and then cover with chrome because it just won't work. So instead, we're going to go with, where is it? This one. We're going to go with that. What is that? It's like they got around a bit perfect. That could work quite well. Flip it, mirror on both sides. Make it bigger. So something like, like this, a little bit thinner. And it just has, it just goes over the door. So what we're gonna do is grab this one, make that chrome. And it just pops over the door a little bit. And they're like, it's like a really fancy, like, um, grill on the side there i think that looks pretty cool though for us uh we're gonna then do i think it's just a reflection i don't think they are chrome on the picture it looks a little bit chromey mirrors they're square-ish something like that could work quite well uh that one could work even better i think that's about right maybe move it a little bit forward okay Nice little mirrors on there. They look really small. I mean, I suppose they're not huge, are they? Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Uh, what else can I see on the side of the car? Door handles. And these are like those ones. I like the chrome. They're painted, though, on the original one. Oh, I do like the paint, too. Yeah, no, we'll stick with the painted ones. Okay, now the rear is where we start getting really tricky. I don't like that one as much as that one. I think that's got a call of, a call of back to it. It's a little bit different, this cooler. Okay, we're going to go with that one. Okay, now this one, first thing that we've never done before is it actually has like an indicator back here. I've never had, I've never seen that before. We're going to put one there just underneath that line. Okay. Now the rear lights on these Aston Martins are like a U shape turned on the side, like a C shape, and then a backward C. If you guys can like tell me how we can do that, I'm I'd love to hear. Because what we're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna make it sort of <laughs> as best as I possibly can. I'm gonna do that one because it looks a little bit smoother, maybe. Something like that, right? This is this is going to be really, really tricky to do. Try and look at it from the side. I think they go further in. I don't know. So I'll make sure that they match. Okay. You know, that's not far off if we can get the loop right. Now, how am I going to do this? Are we going to have to do something like... Oh, wrong one. Okay, and then... Oh, no, I want to shift that. If it just doesn't glitter, ooh, ooh, I don't want handle. If we can get rid of the darker look of it. Huh. Boy, does it not like that one. Come here. Come here. Why? Is it? Uh -huh. It's like bulging out a little bit, isn't it? Like, that's about right, isn't it? I, can, I don't think I can get it any closer than that. I'm going to grab this badge. Where'd I put it? Where is it? I don't know where I put it. I tried to grab it and click it and move it. Okay. Grab it. There we go. Get it on the back here. Up there. Make it a little bit smaller for the back one. Yes. Uh, we're then going to grab a grill. And it's sort of down here a little bit more. Oh, I don't know. It sort of is up there. Make it a little bit bigger. Boom. And then 
stick this guy in here. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy so far. Let's grab another grill to go along the bottom here. Oh, wow. This car's like broken as, isn't it? When you really get into it. Uh, let's try a different one. Mm. That's, that, that was about right. Let's try this one then instead. See how it breaks when we get too big? Or even too small? Can I cover that up with anything? I can't really. I'm going to have to just do it like that. I don't like how it shines like that. I'm going to have to go back to this one. Get in the middle. I'm going to have to like, do a smaller one and then, and then two small ones on either side. Click. Can you mirror, please? There you go. We're gonna have to do. It. <clears throat> We're gonna have to do it like that to get it to go all the way across. Okay. Little brake lights or fog lights or something, which you can't see. Can we have we got a different one? Something that I can just like change even like these ones. Yeah, they work. Put it up there. Exhausts, we used this exhaust, so they come through here. We're going to go with dual exhausts. A little bit bigger. It's looking pretty as the money. It's a bit blank at the back here, but I can't seem to, like, um, change that at all. It's just sort of how they are. Like, I'm looking at a bunch of different pictures, and, and, and they just have, like, nothing on the back, nothing going on. So we might have to... Ah, oh, it looks so... Nothing going on there, doesn't it? How can I solve that? I'm going to type rear in. Let's see if I get anything more up. No, man, they're all blank. They don't have nothing. Like, if you search it yourself on these vehicles, unless you search in 2005, Aston Martin DB9 rear, and, uh, and they're all pretty blank. There's a concept one that has, like, a, a larger grille. Like that. Maybe that'll work for us. Make these a little bit bigger. Try and fill up some space that way. Okay, maybe that did help a little bit. That helps a little bit. Save. Okay, uh, anything else that we, we've missed that I haven't seen? We've already got like a nice sort of squally looking wing on here. Fuel cap. I don't know where it is. I'm going to stick it like back there. It just seems to look about right. Uh, door handles are already on. Mirrors are on. Aerial. We'll put a nice shark fin on the top. Very modern. We want to have... Uh, don't need bumper. Uh, got already got the badges on the front and the rear. Oh, the wheels, of course. You know, it's that one or that one, isn't it? I'm going to go with that one. And then we're going to paint them like a... Most of them are steel. Can we just paint them to look better, though? Like, do I have, like, a light grey? Whoops. What did I do? Huh. What did I do? Cancel. Right one. Click. Nice and shiny. Nice and flaky. Lighten it up a little bit. Okay, they definitely look a lot better. They look a lot shiny now. Save. Close. Okay, on to the engine now. This is going to be where we start getting a bit crazy. Oh, it's going to be a long episode. Sit in, guys. Uh, it's a V... What is it? A V... I don't even know what it is on here. A V12. Ooh. V12. And it is a 60 degree one, which is what we've got. Uh, we're going to build it aluminium. And then the displacement, I've already got it in it, which is... It's a 3.5. Apparently, like, as close to bang on. Okay, 3.5, perfect. Boy, 3.13. 3. 3.13. Oh, bang on. 3.13. So that's a 5.9 litre. They say 
six. Oh, they say 5.9 liter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're bang on there. Uh, we're going to go with dual overhead cams. Four valves per cylinder. And we'll match the head material to the block material to increase um, reliability. We'll leave UVL off for now. Look at that. Oh. Now, of course, this would have to be a longer tuned engine. You're never going to get that in transverse. I, I should have thought of that earlier. Uh, we're going to want to have... It's expensive. We're going to want to have as much torques and RPM as possible. So, lightweight titanium. That's, that's pretty good. Plus two, plus three. Oh, but we get a load more RPM out of that one. Okay. I'm going to bump up all the quality sliders as well. Did we, did we miss any quality sliders? No. I, and I got the first one already. Okay. Bump that up. I'm just going to have them all maxed out on 15. Because uh, it's going to be easier to probably replicate. Or should we? No, I don't think we need to, actually. I'm going to drop that back down. And I'm going to drop that down. And I don't think we need to worry about the body one, either. We probably save some money, because I think it costs money to do that. Oops. There we go. I think it costs, like, a lot of money to, to, to do all that kind of stuff. Right. So, compression. We've got a compression of 10.3.1. 10.3.1. So this is the stuff that we can't change now. If we've got the information, then I can't change it. Cam profile we don't have. It never gives us that. I've never found anywhere that gives us that. We're going to leave that for now as well. Uh, turbocharged? Would it be? Naturally aspirated. No, it's naturally aspirated. I was going to say, it would be ridiculous otherwise. So we don't need to worry about that at all. It's going to be injection for sure. Uh, but it doesn't have any more details on it. EFI. Multi-point or single point? It just says EFI. It's probably going to be multi-point. Uh, and it doesn't have, like, if it's single twin or per cylinder. What is the horsepower? That'll give us a good idea of, of where we need to look for. 450 brake horsepower. So as long as we can get that, which we can on all of these, that if we put that on, we can go up to 3,100 horsepower. It's insane. Uh, it's probably going to be that then. I can always upgrade it to a twin if we need to. It's probably just going to be performance. Premium or super, you're going to want to put in there. You're going to want to have decent fuel. We'll, we'll leave it at premium. Um, we should probably put super in it, really. Okay. Fuel mixture, I don't think it has. What has it got here? We've got... We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We've done that one. We've done... We know what the power output is. We know what that is. Torx, it's got 420 foot pound. It's got all of my, my like UK ones on here as well. So I'm going to have to convert it myself like I did last episode. Um, alloy block and head. I've got aluminium. I don't know what LC is. Is that is LC alloy? It probably is. It's probably aluminium and silicon or something. I don't know. But that would make an alloy. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll go with that. I don't really know. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, this is a water-cooled engine. Uh, of course. We don't have an intercooler because we don't have a turbo. Normal aspiration. No intercooler. Good. The only thing it doesn't have is its actual 0 to 60 stats and stuff. But I can probably find that later on. Yeah, I can't find I can't find anything else on it. So we're going to have to make it up as we go from here now. Uh, super. We'll leave that where it is. We'll leave that where it is. We'll leave that where it is. Uh, probably going to be like a decent exhaust system going on here. Probably not quite race. Let's have a tubular or a long tubular. Dual exhausts, because that's what we've put on it. And let's bump the exhaust uh, diameter up a little bit. High flow, reverse, reverse. Now, what are we doing? We are, what, do we, what, what do we want? We want 450 brake horsepower. And I would love to get the right torques, which is 420, which we're not far off on. So what do we need? We need more horsepower. We need another, another hundred, another hundred horsepower. It's a little bit less than hundred, a little bit less than hundred horsepower, more like eighty. That's something that we can definitely do. Now I can't change the compression, but we can bring this up to give us four hundred and twenty horsepower, and then I just need another fifteen foot pounds of torque, and we're already at what we need to be. I could make this have a lot more power than what the car actually has, because um, we haven't even gone into here yet. 19 on the fuel economy, which is, like, decent, actually. 
I'm going to drop that down a little. If we drop that down all the way and then I get the power from somewhere else. Oh, what is the RPM limit? It doesn't say six speed gearbox. I might have to stop for a minute and go and get some more information on this. Yeah, because it doesn't even have like... Oh, at 6,000 RPM. The maximum output is at 6,000 RPM. So I, could, I can bump this way up if we want to. Okay, let's go to 6,500 RPM. And then we're one horsepower shy and 15 torques shy. So I'm trying to get that up to 415 on the torques. 415. And then the horsepower is now... We've got a weird graph going on now. The uh, hor... No, the no, it's, no, it's about right. Because the torques peak out at 5,000 RPM. And the horsepower peaks out at 6,000. And we've got it peaking out at 6,500 and 4,000. It'd be nice to have the foot-pound, the, the, the torque sort of peak later. Can I push that over somehow? I don't know how I push that over. Like, I can go colossal with this, though, can't we? I don't know. Maybe we can change something here. That gives us... It's really hard to tell because the, the, the things change positions. It gives us 10 more horsepower, that does, if we want that. Nope. I want it to come. Oh, does that push the torque? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pushing the torque back over. That's what we want. We want the torque over here. Perfect. We want it at 5,000 RPM, really. We just bang on that line. And then if we can get that peak where the dot is on the red line to go up to 415, then we're like, bang on. Oh, maybe this will help. It wanted a bigger exhaust. Mm -hmm. uh, can we get it up? 415, good. And the horsepower, I forgot what it was. 450, and we're on 469. It would be 450 at about 6,000 RPM. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we've done really well. Ooh. I'm happy with that. I think we've got actually a decent fuel economy pretty much out of this as well. Um, we could make tons more power. We could like literally make this probably like nearly a thousand horsepower. Well, it's a V12. We could make this like 1500 to 2000 horsepower, but we're trying to get it close to realistic. We're not trying to um, max it out. If you look at our stats as well, only our exhaust goes to 0 0.98 when we're maxed out and we could probably fix that just maybe I'm gonna go a little bit bigger also, whoops uh oh oh no where did I have it okay it must be about there yeah because it was 415 torques which is what we wanted yeah no we're gonna leave it there I'm, 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 I'm happy how we are so how many gears did it have? Six gears, did it say? Yeah, six skis, gear, rear wheel drive. I'm sure it's rear wheel drive, isn't it? Uh, rear wheel drive, yeah, it is rear wheel drive. Just wanted to double check. This can always be funny, can't it? Uh, does it have what gearbox it actually has in this? Manual, a six speed manual. Cool. Uh, we don't have a top speed. Uh, can I search that, in fact? top speed just so we know what it is and what we're trying to sort of aim for 183 miles an hour uh 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds so if we want to get that we're gonna have to put that up to 183 and try and aim for about that i'll leave that where it is uh probably one electronic lsd uh sports compound tires do we have the wheels, even the tyres? Yeah, we do. They are 19-inch, 
235s, 235 40s on the front. So we want 235 written there. So I'm going to have to... I don't think we can get 235 40s on this game. Because on the rear, it's a 275 35. And I definitely cannot get that. I definitely cannot get that. I can't make them white unless I change the body. Ooh, we ruined it. Oh. Uh, come on, turn. Please turn. You were so good. nice. Oh, it's not quite as what it was, but. Okay, that's better. That's better. Much better. All right, so I've, I've just increased the flares a little bit on there now. So we should be able to get, yeah, bigger wheels. So we, we really want 235s and 275s, but I'm 10 millimeters shy on both. I've got 225s instead of 235s and 265s instead of 275s. Uh, and then this is a little about that should be 40 and that should be 35 and uh, I don't know it's as close as I can get in the game alloy wheels okay the brakes vented disc uh, it doesn't say how many pistons it is so we're just gonna go with like three on the front for the moment uh, front brake diameter is a 355 millimeters what is that Millimeters to inch. Uh, three five five. Hold on, I'm just searching it. Uh, three five five. Was it three five five? Three five five. Yeah. Thirteen point nine. Boom. Or I can do thirteen point eight or fourteen. We'll do fourteen then. We can always even do it by a little bit. And then three thirty is twelve point nine for the back. Vented disc. Have a little bit less on there. Thirteen point six. So we just even done up a little bit of there as well. Uh, it doesn't have like the brake bias or anything like that on there, so uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. At least not yet. Uh, we probably have some downforce, but I'll leave it on none for the moment. Uh, we'll leave all that how it is as well. Uh, is it a five seater or a four seater? It's probably a four seater, isn't it? I. It's probably a two seater. Is are they two seaters in this? You know, I've never... Does it have that information? Two by two seats. Yeah, it's got four seats. It does have two seats in the back, apparently, in these. Uh, luxury or premium? Probably luxury. With a luxury sat-nav. Well, I don't know, premium sat-nav, probably. It's not, it's not a Bentley, is it? So, uh, electric power steering. All of the business. Advanced. Active sports. Semi-active. We'll stick it on race. Sport utility. Utility. Family, premium, and GT. We're hitting the... Well, I don't know what market would it fall into. It would definitely be... It's a premium car. Could probably touch on GT, the real-life DB9. Why is it under utility, though? A premium, uh, a, a premium car that is large, prestigious, comfortable, powerful... And has some utility. I suppose it's got. I suppose the size of the boot gives us that. Maybe it thinks that all of this is boot, uh, and with only four seats, it helps with the utility. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not bottoming out. We're all looking good. All right. So if we go back here, let's pull this up. Uh, it is giving us that top speed. In fact, we can. We can just beat the top speed a little bit. To 190. Do you want to keep it as close to as possible though? 183 is what it wants. So we'll do 185 because that's as close as I can get. We're not to 60 in 4.5. We're doing it in 4.7 at the minute. Can I get 4.5? Where's a 4.6? 4.5! Boom! So we've got the same 0 to 60 time. We've got the same top speed. 
that's pretty good going so far. We've got as close to the right tyres. Braking, we're actually good on brakes. We've got no brake fade. We're nicely powered on the top and we're overpowered on the rear. Uh, so that's fine. It's the right size. You can probably double that down to a single piston. And it even makes it better. And we lost 0.2 feet on the braking distance, but it actually like put up our greens, our markets a little bit better. Uh, I could probably make that a little bit racier, but it liked it. It liked it in the middle. Where's 50? There it is. Uh, and we've kept everything on zero as well. Unbelievably, everything is on zero. Downforce? Nope, no downforce. Didn't like calling flaps either. And that doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't have any brake fade. Brake fade's zero, so I don't need to send any more air to the brakes. Four. Now, what one does it like better? See, family sport premium, if we go to sport. And if we go luxury, it goes utility. Oh, it loves the luxury one, though. And it liked... It liked that kind of power steering better than electric power steering. We've got over 100 now in three different categories. I don't like that. I bet putting some of these up would really help. Yeah. It's dropping down family sport premium. But we're now high on, on GT and stuff. What do we focus on? Do we focus on GT or what? It's getting muscle premium now. No, I, I think I like hitting the... A bit of family market as well. Family sports in there. I want to keep it as cheap as possible. It's going to be interesting to see if we can do it for cheaper than what the real place can. The real Aston Martin can. Uh, sport or race? Made no difference. Sport and race. Well, sport was a little bit higher then. If we go that like that. We get an extra 0 0.1. We're not bottoming out. Can we lower it down even more then? A little bit of bottom out. There you go. It's probably a little bit too low, isn't it? I like to just be able to sort of see the tops of the... Have a little bit of air through there. Uh, the bump test is pretty good, actually. They all meet up at roughly the same amount of time. Um, the blue is front body, so how can we do that front? If I, I want to try and bring that blue bar at the end up a little bit. So they all meet up. There we go. It's a little bit closer. Making it more drivable by doing a bit of camber on the front. Oh, yeah, it's actually helping a lot. It's helping the, the drivability stats. Eh. Mind you, this is going to be a weird looking camber, isn't it? Yeah, look at how the wheels are now leaning over. Ooh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? Oh, that's funny as. I don't mind having a little bit of camber on there. Alright, you know what? I'm 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 happy. I don't think we could be less happy uh, with our design than that. It looks these should come out further. That's what it is. Okay, let's just quickly do that. These should be like out here. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot better. It doesn't look quite as like squidged up now. Even the side is right how how you can see it curve round now. But yeah, I'm very happy. If I I could probably make a little bit better of a shape now. Oops. Man, it does not like putting the brake lights on the side there, though. I just want to get one more in like that. Just to really try and get the curve spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. I'm so happy. We've done really well here. Test track. While that's done. Whoa. Dude. 
too loud in my ear. Um, top gear. Uh, lap times. Let's just get this up. We got round in one minute 23. One minute 23 sticks us. Where's it? 23.6. Uh, same speed as the Ferrari F430, Porsche 911, Maserati Gran Turismo. Oh, no, no way! The Aston Martin DBS got round in 1 minute 23.9. Do they have a DB9 on here? Oh, the Vantage got round... Oh, no, the Virage got round in 124. We done 123.68. Can I put this on screen for you guys? I can. Yeah. So uh, we've got. We, we done. What was it? 120. 123.6. Which is like in between these two here. Faster than the Lamborghini. Slower than the uh, Jaguar. But uh, DBS we're faster than. The Virage we're faster than. Oh, is there a DB, ooh, DB9 on here? 127. So we beat the real Aston Martin DB9 uh, by four seconds. Four seconds faster. Can we really complain about that? No. That's pretty as close to as we're ever going to get. We made the car for $15,720. So we could probably make a really good markup on that as well. 17 miles to the gallon. Do we have the MPG? Um... Let's see what I got there. Aston Martin uh, 2005 DB9 MPG. What does it say? MPG. Nope. Just trying to find the MPG of them. Fuel economy, 19. What do we have? 17. Oh, okay. Fair enough, so we're like, we're like literally 1.3 miles per gallon out. I'm pretty stoked. I think we've done really well on making a legit replica vehicle. Uh, I, I, I can't be happy. I think, I think I couldn't have done any better. Maybe someone else could have done better, but I couldn't. Let's go and take a picture. We'll go to... A uh, small factory and then like on the corner or something like that. I think would work for us. Give it this way. Those buildings in the background. Go up in the sky a little bit. Rotate the car around. Time of day. Get the sun in front. Ooh, hiccups. Will the sun go in front of us? It's cool shine on there. Or if I went on this side of the car, maybe the um, sun doesn't sort of go in that way. That bag looks so cool too. Oh yeah, that's that's about right, isn't it? <laughs> uh, now, if someone if someone gave me that picture and said, "What car is that?" I would say an Aston Martin. I mean, the lights are a little bit wrong at the top, but I think we've got as close to as we possibly could. Take a picture. What does it look like without the filters on? I sort of like the filter on with that one. I like the sort of darkness it gives. Might take another one, and then for the thumbnail on the side. All right, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't read the video, feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. What are we doing in the next one? We are doing the cheapest possible car that we can make interesting interesting what a challenge all right guys 